Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome to Total War Warhammer 3 in a brand new campaign with OVN's Lost Factions and Fomir. And we have Kroll. This giant mass of, of tentacles here is basically a, a, a demon princess of the Fomir, which is quite fun. Just a big, a big tentacle lady. So th there is no lore as far as I can tell for Kroll. I think she's been created simply just for the mod. Um, feels very old gods to be honest, which is quite fun. Um, her main sort of mechanic is that she can build buildings in capital settlements, which will increase her power each time. So basically, each time you build this building, she gets 5% armor, weapon strength, and mass. So you could potentially make her incredibly powerful, which is quite fun. So Kroll herself, of course, is a giant sort of tentacle monster there. And... Uh, the Fomir are sort of based on sort of Celtic myth, I think. They're quite an old race in both the Warhammer lore and sort of Warhammer in general because there hasn't really been any models of them, I want to say, for about 20... for decades. 20 years minimum. Probably no longer. <laughs> I'm thinking 20 years is a long time ago. It's not anymore, is it? <laughs> Damn. Um, no. So probably a good 40 years probably since we've had any models i think the last models that are made were probably in hero quest and less forge world have done any since i genuinely don't know um but they were quite an old race and uh in the warhammer lore basically they were the first worshippers of chaos before chaos went hey those pink guys with little little stick legs they're pretty neat let's see if we can uh get some of those boys over so basically the familiar was sort of like pushed aside in favor of man mankind which obviously has left them a little bit sad and uh they, they still follow chaos, but they're more than happily to murder mankind wherever it is. Mind you, there's a lot of things that are willing to do that, so uh, that's fine. Uh, so, this mod does introduce... I mean, looking at... That, does that not look great? It's, it's obviously uh, based on the Skaven Abomination. Is that the, the big rat monster thing? It's got the same sort of skeleton of that, but obviously all this is, is new, and it looks great. I mean, really, really cool. Just, just really... Just genuinely impressive about what modders can actually do um she does have her own trait so she's got the all mother a being as ancient as the world possessing great malice and intellect crawl is a demon princess unlike any of the great powers and worshipped as mother of the bog octopi and ruler of the cursed bogs of the familiar so we get an upkeep reduction for bog octopuses so more tentacles lovely uh melee attack when fighting at sea because obviously she's a octopus uh melee, melee enemy leadership in in the local region is reduced i'm not fucking surprised i'd be pretty i'd be pretty sad if i had to face a giant tentacle monster or happy it depends um missile resistance 10 percent for chaos furies swamp demons bog octopi fen beasts and demon um, um, maniacs which i assume are somewhat related to the animaniacs they are probably also zany to the max one can only assume uh she also has a list of her own skills she's got a, she's a spell caster she doesn't have any melee skills though which is interesting so she's she's basically i mean she she is quite quite killy but she does she doesn't have the sort of melee skills she does have some like uh skills of her own obviously she will get stronger as you uh, as you build buildings but she i don't think she's ever going to be a real sort of like absolute wrecking ball of a character or anything like that uh but she does get spirit she gets sort of a mix of uh dark and and ocean magic which obviously makes sense because she's a fucking octopus anyway so mother of the thousand young this is quite nice so she gets regenerate she basically give everyone regeneration around her ever the nurturing mother crawls love for her children has no bounds that's that's beautiful that is beautiful as she devours foes all those she considers her progeny for mere bog octopi and others are fed the regurgitated remains and revive that's less good um but fine uh, she's a nameless thing Kroll has survived for eons, and the Fomir claims she's as old as the world itself. Whatever the truth, the many weapons and trinkets of would-be slayers that cover her form can attest to her endurance. Uh, she gets terrible tentacles, the grip of Kroll's massive tentacles, such strength it can crush armor, flesh, and bone in a matter of seconds. No foe who has been trapped in her embrace has lived to tell the tale. So she gets constriction contact effect, which is damage over time. Now that could mean that she's going to do a lot of damage in melee combat, assuming that she can survive, and obviously the more armor and mass she has the better uh bog matriarch and the presence of crawl both her earthly children the bog octopi and the other supernatural denizens of the march fight with greater cunning and ferocity uh for now they're guided not by instinct alone but by the will of the great mother 
Sounds quite fun. And uh, Broodmother. Kroll has been, been known to implant her magical eggs in the body of her still living prey. Nice. Eggs which grow quickly and feed on the soul essence of the victim, ending with a bog octopus hatchling bursting out of the doomed victim. Lovely. Great. So basically any unit below 20% is going to get... Is, 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 they're going to get aliens. Holy shit. And then also Demon Princess of the Femir. Whatever the truth of her origin is in fact that Kroll is now a creature of the Empyrean. And that worship and sacrifices dedicated to her greatly empower her physical manifestation. Beholden to none of the four, Kroll plans to eventually reach her own apotheosis as goddess of the Femir. There we go. And uh, then she has some other, obviously, you know, the, the box standard effects you'd expect. She, oh, she does have mental. There we go. And from the mists, Eye of the Bale Fiend, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Obviously, we have, uh, we start in Lustria. So down here on the Isthmus of Lustria. It's quite fun. Then we've got the Monument of the Moon. Now, basically, we have um, Norsecan type buildings, which makes sense. Uh, obviously, they had to base it on something. I guess they based it on the. Do, do Norsecans get slaves now? Uh, anyway, we got a slave mechanic. I, I haven't played Norsecans yet, honestly. And um, we're gonna get, we're gonna go for the longship builders because that just makes sense. We've also got a special building here, the Blessed Swamp. From this land, Kroll will turn the whole world into a huge bog and rise to godhood. Well, there we go. There we go. Uh, the faction effects are the Tendrils of Doom are a fanatic sect of Femir dedicated to worshipping Kroll the All Mother, not as a demon princess, but as the one and true Femir goddess. They seek to make her apotheosis a reality, hoping they will be rewarded with rulership over the world when she turns into a cursed bog for all eternity. I mean, who among us hasn't wanted to turn into a cursed bog for all eternity? I. I know I have. Uh, so we can erect temples in Kroll's name at provincial capitals to increase our mass, armor, and weapon strength by 5% each time, along with powerful army bonuses and positive diplomatic relations with chaos worshipping factions, dark elves, and greenskins. I don't know why dark elves and greenskins, but sure. I guess dark elves just like tentacles. They do see the type. Greenskins? No fucking like that. But fine, whatever. And um, we get upkeep reduction for bog octopus, fog shrines of Belor, and animaniac units. We get sea lane journey time duration reduction. Underworld Sea travel time reduction, increasing growth, casualty replenishment rate, and we're immune to high seas, reef, and storm attrition. So that's all good so far. Now we start off with uh, Vicious, who's a Boglar Shaman. So he's going to have some spells. What do you? What kind of spells do you have? You have uh, a mixture of Goblin and Sea spell. We get a Moorhound. Seems fun. Release the hounds. Uh, we got some shells. These are kind of like little Fumia little Femir infantry. They are yeah, pretty standard, to be honest. Pretty much basic. They do have quite a large unit size, 120. That's quite quite big. we got some Shell Scouts. These guys have Javelins. You know how I feel about it. I am a big fan of Javelins, so f excellent fan of that. We also have a Bog Octopus. He's got a lot of health. He's got some bonus first infantry. Basically, you chuck him into a big blob of infantry, and he will have a lovely time. And we've got the Fen Beasts. These guys are magical constructs. They do have regeneration, and uh, they, are, they will disintegrate if they get sad and being a magical uh, entity they do get more leadership when your winds of magic power reserve is 15 or greater uh, but that will obviously disappear oh they get vanguard deployment as well that's fun and uh, we got the fiana fim who are the bog standards i guess for mere uh, monstrous infantry quite killy they've also got does everyone have vanguard deployment holy shit everyone's got vanguard deployment does literally everyone have vanguard deployment or is that just something that we get what we got boglars oh lovely all right well we're not recruiting any of them because we've got some we've got nerg the man ripper well unfortunately for you nerg there's no men in this army so ripping not gonna happen to oh my goodness that's a big ass that's a big tentacle ass sentence i never thought i'd say uh, we've got a pre-battle sacrifice but we don't have any don't have any slaves at the moment a trifling gods. Plus leash. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure we'll work out later. We've got Cursed Mist as well. Could come in. That could come in handy. Okay, well, first battle of the campaign. It's got that t tentacle ass smell. So, I think this effect we have here is is something to do with the effect on, on the province um i assume it's part of the mod or something anyway what it does do is makes everything very oh my god look how bright that green is and i think it's because obviously there's a lot of diffusion i guess anyway um so we've got our shells here these guys are like little for me we're throwing ourselves against the gore herds which uh, 
that is better than us, so that's fine. We've got Minotaurs on the left flank. Throw it ourselves against the Fen Beasts. But we've got the Javelins behind. I'm hoping should be able to pick off those Minotaurs. But they're doing a lot of damage to them, which is great. Obviously hitting uh, the enemy general with... Spirit Leech. And there is Big Mummy Crawl. What a big girl she is. Lumbering into combat, backed up by the Fianna Fim. Looks like the Gore Herds are retreating, but we still have this, this, God, this Doom Bull. They're nasty. Nasty boys. Nasty big boys. These javelins are a lot of fun. I do like throwing sticks at people. Love throwing a stick. And there's Junior, I guess. The little bog octopus we've got. Little Junior there. We really need to take out those Minotaurs. And that General as well. Which I don't think we really have an... I mean, I guess Junior might do okay against him. But I, I feel like... I feel like Doom Ball's probably better. Can we just chuck some sticks at him? I've got Junior keeping him busy. That, yeah, direct point blank stick throwing. That'll do it. Like, don't get too... Guys, don't, not too close. Not too close. Back, 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 back. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. We've still got some... They, they, they're re returning... Some units returning from the fight. So we're going to have to mop them up. I need to get these Fen Beasts out of the way. They do regenerate, which is quite nice. I just... Yeah, guys, I don't, you don't need to be that close, guys. I know you've only got the one eye. I realise peripheral vision is a... Yeah, that, that's too close. Like, I don't... I mean, it's great that you're making sure that every shot counts. I get it. But on the other hand, maybe not so close. See? J Jerry found out what that was like, didn't he? You're right, Jerry. He's okay. No, no. Okay, here we go. Right, may okay, he's running away. That's fine. Good. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Junior, just... Right, let... Ju let... Ju 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 let just let... Just let the stick people throw sticks at him, Junior. Just get out of the way. Just get it. Jesus Christ. Okay, you're in the way. Get, Jeremy. No. no ju ju junior, you're in the way. Go, go on. Out of the way. Out of the way. That way. That, then we can throw sticks at him. There we go. We're going to hit him with our little ability there to slow him down. I mean, he's only got 459 health left. He's not really going to support. There we go. It's a slow moving target. This should be easy. There we go. Keep. That's it. Extreme acupuncture. Perfect. Bit melodramatic, but perfect. Boop. Oh, we could get some slaves. I kind of want the slaves. Like, I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but... You know, slaves. Can, can we really pass that option up? I don't think so. I think we can just auto resolve you now. Is there any like, too much damage to us? That was fine. Replenishment, I guess. Okay. We've got the armor of silver still. That's actually not the worst thing we could have picked up. A little bit of extra armor for Crawl there. It's going to make uh, just that little bit extra tanky. We're going to go for the movement range first, I think. And I don't actually mind sneaky stabbing. And that could actually be very useful. What else do we got here? So we could get a fetid bog. Who wouldn't want a fetid bog? It's going to give us some more hound. Now, I do like my doggos, don't I? I do like my doggos. Um, but I also like javelins. And the shell scouts are up here. So I think we're going to go with this one first. Uh, we've got defense. Do I want defenses? Nah. Could use extra money. 300 extra money. Uh, we've got some slaves. Income generated 150. When slaves low and 1,000 at the start of the turn. 20 slaves per turn. So we generate slaves. But then we use them. What? Uh, so, if if we have more than a thousand slaves, we'll lose some slaves, but generate income. When it's lower than a thousand, we get more slaves. Okay. Okay, that's more slave capacity. That's fine. Uh, I think we just need bogs. I just need bog. <laughs> it's a little octopus joke. Um, Bog standards. Bog standard boys. Uh, let's... Right, where where else do we need? Pahoo! It's down here. 
which we could do with. Is that actually... Maybe we don't get... Do we? Oh, it's only like... There's only some settlements which are major... Is it major ports are the ones we get? I can't remember. Is, do, we, do we get those flags? There's certain settlements, isn't there? I can't remember which ones they are because it's been so long since I've played Norskins. Okay, thank you for the notifications. Right, we do have the... The, we, we do have the um, the AI mod thing going here, which is fine. Uh, mod configuration tool, mixes on lock, all that kind of good stuff there. So we do ha we are using it because I, I did like the AI uh, mod. I think that I think um, that does make the game potentially more interesting, but also just just generally more fun. I think might might be a little bit easier as well, but. Okay, tech-wise, we've got Kroll's Ascension here, but we need a Temple of Kroll for that, which we don't have. Uh, we need to get an afterthought. Okay, so we've got a glimpse of Nurgle, a Slaanesh's amusement, scraps of corn, or afterthought of Zinch. Now, more research rates seems like a, just a general good thing to have, doesn't it? More control might be quite useful. Melee attack for our Fim Death Quest units. That sounds fun. That sounds like fun. I think we're going to go... We're going to get this, because, you know, re research rate increase means we get more research, right? Sounds good. Right, Swamp Town is over here. I think Swamp Town might be high on our list of uh, of places to grab early on. This, Spectazuma, is a capital. So the more capitals we get, the better. Because it'll make... It'll, it'll make Mummy Kroll a big girl. And big girls are the best girls. Especially if they've got tentacles. If it isn't our nemesis, Phil. Bloody Phil. Do we want to go this way? I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go this way. How long is it going to take us to get there? Jesus Christ, it's a long time. We're not currently at war with them, though. We're not currently at war with them. And also, also we get shells and more cash. Do we? Oh, we do have regiments renowned. Followers of Baylor. Got the Hellhound of Baskers Moor. Nice reference there. Killing Eye. Uh, Skane's Swamp Scorpions. Sounds fun. Uh, Gehurna's Demon Friends. And Eyes of Doom. Interesting. We can hire mercenaries. We can get some ogre balls. We're not going to get any ogre balls. Uh, we're going to get some of you boys. By the comet. Indeed. Indeed. Now, the only problem I guess with Craw is that she is, being a big girl with tentacles, um, she probably will be quite susceptible to a, a lot of concentrated missile fire, which is probably a bit of an issue, especially early on, because we're not going to really have the units to defend her, and she's not going to have the uh, the magic item sort of like give her a little bit of resistance to that. So, anything with a lot of missile units, such as, I don't know, say humans is going to be a little bit dicey, especially if they recruit a shit ton of um, a shit ton of crossbows or something. And we could, we could, we could get some ogre balls. Could get some ogre balls just for funsies. Uh, I mean, we can afford them, so we're going to get them. May as well. May as well fill out the stack, right? Get a nice big stack. I mean, it, the shells may not be amazing, but they're good at tying units up. And who doesn't want to tie units up? Especially when you've got this many little wavy tentacle arms. I mean, maybe I should be attacking the green skins first. But... Being that I know Hoatl's up here, they're probably going to be an early threat. And just like Philip's buggered off, I don't know where he's gone. Do not underestimate us, fools. Yeah, well. well. Oh, no, Philip, I, no, Philip was indeed just in there. What can we do with this? What does this do? Spell mastery. I mean, that's not the worst. I mean, we're not actually using the slaves for anything. Jesus Christ, we can get a lot of spell mastery. I mean, not that we have that many... I guess that would do more damage, and I guess that would do... I don't, I don't feel like we, we don't really have... We don't really have the optimal units to to really make that work. Um, now, they do have four units of crossbows. I'm going to have to be careful, because if they concentrate fire on Kroll, they could potentially take her down. So we need to tie those guys up.
Okay, it's going to be a tough fight because those crossbows, they've also got a really nasty position on top of this hill. Also, is that not a real fire risk? Not to mention that you've actually put a tree in it. Why would you build your fire around a tree? That's just, that's just silly. That's just silly. Yeah, they've got a nasty position right at the top of this hill. It's going to be very difficult to flank around them. We are trying to get the boglars around there. Uh, we are taking... Oh, the, no! No, our stick boys! No, you bastards! Leave them alone! Junior is currently dealing with the uh, with Philip. Old Philip there. Phil. Troll taking a little bit of fire. But also mulching her way through uh, many, many swordsmen. And on the flank, our ogres... Fen Beasts and Femir trying to bludgeon their way through this knot of sword and spearmen so that we can rampage through their missile line because that's what we really need to do. Junior's taking a bit of fire. Yeah, they, at least they're like splitting their fire so they're not all firing at Kroll or something like that which would have been annoying. The Fen Beasts mulching their way through these crosswomen. Isn't it nice to be not in a fucking bloom-filled mists. God, it's like... It's like a fucking... Is it Abra J. J. Abrams film? With the fog? So much fucking bloom, you can barely see what's going on. I might have to see if there's like a mod to remove the, um, the battle. Like environment effects or something, because that's, uh, that's going to annoy the shit out of me. It seems to only be set the settlements we own, basically. Because we get a bonus, to, like a defensive bonus. Kroll is having a lovely time. You go, girl. You know, single mother, breaking that glass ceiling, mostly through sheer mass. Um, yeah, you don't have that, I'm afraid. I mean, she does have uh, four, 55 kills. It's pretty, pretty impressive. And Junior's got 80, 90 kills. 91 kills. Reducing people to jam, low on health, but um, loving every second of life, which is great. And there's, there's Vicious. His little hat. Does he look great? What a guy. Little, little mushroom boy. And our Boglars. Boglar. Dealing with his spearmen. I mean, it's, it's taken two units of Boglars to, to deal with one unit of spearmen. So not super effective. But I guess, you know, very meat shieldy. And at least it won't panic everyone else. The shells and the swordsmen basically trading, the looks of it. We have a slight advantage over them, but it's not great. Fortunately, it looks like the enemy left flank has shattered. And we now swarm across them, cutting them down. Including Phil over there. We give Phil such a hiding. I hate that guy. Oof. A tough fight, but a victorious one. We could obliterate it. What does that do? Gives us Dark One's Blessing for five turns. Oh, interesting. Uh, sacking it would give us some some cash. Which must we get the same... Uh, I get... Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, wait, 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 wait. I'm sure if we do this. And then we just go and retake it next turn. That's that's probably better, right? Uh Norse, yeah, we're gonna get we need the we need the replenishment. And I actually quite like the idea of Norse Spirit Leech, I think. Uh Itchy Nuisance is nice. Itchy Nuisance and Fog of the Damned at the same time is absolutely brutal. The sneaky stealing, uh it's not really that useful for us. Oh, I kinda like it. Itchy Nuisance just it's just good. I guess a tide call wouldn't be out of the I could like help us take out some some rear line lads. And this will help us get the Famir Warriors. And the Famir Warriors are great weapons, which probably will come in handy. It looks like Port Reaver is 
being raided or under siege. Either way, it's got a lot of chaos corruption. I'm guessing that's because of Skeggy. Now, we're going to have to kill Skeggy if we want their stuff. And I do want their stuff. I should probably see if actually anyone actually likes me. Where we are, though, we're probably only going to make friends with the chaos factions. And they're quite far away from us. So it's probably going to be a little while before we have anyone actually, you know, not trying to brutally murder us. Nay mind. And shrouds. Starwood staff. Ooh, reserves per second. Now that is actually pretty legit. Pretty legit indeed. Um Soul Blight. Just a little bit of damage every time we cast. Um, what do I think? You know what? I'm going to get Kiss of the Deep. We're going to do it. And I want some more scouts. Because I like chucking sharp sticks at people. It's just my bag, baby. What I don't... Right, is... I, I was sure there was something that would tell us that there was a... Like, this is a major port, right? And I'm sure there used to be something that said that was maybe... Is, maybe it's just major port buildings? Major port buildings. Maybe it's just major port buildings we get. I can't remember. It's been so long. What the fuck is this? Hello. We shall experience excess. No mortal could ever dream of. You like me. I didn't even know there was any chaos factions around here. We stand corrected. Uh, is anyone like us? Skeggy likes us. That's unfortunate because I do want to try and kill them. I mean, I'm basically just going to try and kill everyone around us. There's no reason why I wouldn't try and kill everyone around us. My main issue is if I, maybe I need to help Nakari. If Nakari can take Ulthuan, that would that would save me a lot of bother. That really would save me a lot of bother. A huge amount of bother. Ooh, what happened there? Did you fight off Skeggy, maybe? I don't know what you're up to. But, uh, a rough-hewn castle. Oh. My name is Hugh, and before you ask, no I don't. Okay, public order isn't great here. Uh, it'll probably get better. Probably should build some like actual public order buildings or something. Uh, they've got the Shrine of Sotek and Bahu, which is what we want. I, yeah, I'm probably going to have to go and kill the Greenskins, aren't I? I kind of want to finish off... Port Reaver is... I mean, the ports are very important for us, because they... They will give us 400 income, plus we get the 300. So actually, we can make quite a lot of money, because that's, that's quite a chunk of change just from those two buildings. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Renegade God, erect three or more temples. Paragon, a patron god, erect ten or more temples. And God of the Depths, erect 20 or more temples. Okay. I mean, three temples is definitely doable. Ten seems extreme. 20 seems insane. Especially when you need the, uh, the you need 20 provincial capitals to be able to do that. Seems like quite a lot. Now, obviously, Hawattle is not going to like us. Maz Lord Mazdamundi, not going to be a fan. I might take Port Reaver. I might... I mean, we could maybe. They actually quite like us. I go... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a lot of aggression packs with you just for the moment because I feel like we need to concentrate... In the, and you, you may actually be a faction who isn't going to try and kill us. So although I won't be able to get the and the Shrine of Sotek, with that said, that's not that useful to us. Shrine of Sotek would have a port, but I can I can live with that. And plus we are hitting you with a lot of Chaos Corruption. Oh, actually it's going down. Thanks to buildings. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, but we do want to take on Skeggy. I mean, I, I'd want to take out Mazda Mundi. But Skeggy is probably more important because they do have that major provincial capital, which we need to make Big Mummy Crawl even fatter with a capital PH. Right, you are not recruiting very much. That's good for us. Uh, can we just auto resolve that? I think we can just auto resolve that. Yes. Oh, I kind of want the money. Well, nah, I'm just going to take it. Okay, those guys are dead. That's good. Oh, shit. 
So mere warriors. Right, against the lizards. What's going to be good against the lizards? Well, I think having the, the shell scouts is going to be useful because those dinosaurs, if they have any dinosaurs, we can just throw sticks at them until they die. That works for me. Um, I would like more spirit leech. What's this going to do? Slaves gain from battle. Increased experience gain. That sounds pretty useful. I'm not 100% against that. Uh, I kind of want to make you boys better, but... I kind of want some more spells as well. I'm going to go Tide Call. And I think Itchy Nuisance is going to be pretty amazing. Because minus 30% base weapon damage is a huge chunk. I'm guessing Mazda Mundi doesn't like us. You know what? It's not as big an aversion as I thought it would be. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I, I genuinely thought that would be worse. <sighs> I could keep this, but to be honest, is it? Do we have any buildings that are like better for money? I could build that. That does give us more growth, doesn't it? It's expensive, but I kind of think we don't need this actually. Now we're pushing northward. I feel like ideally we don't want to push. Are you literally called Chungus? Targog Whale Beater. Look, I, I don't care what you call it, but stop beating it. Apps. Jesus. Because, I mean, I don't want to sit down and recruit more of those lads. Uh, it's because it's going to take too long. I think what I want to do is try and kill Mazda Mundi. But first, I'm going to have to try and kill these ogres. Because they are, in my way, raiding my stuff. You've got Lost Ericsson's Great Hall. I kind of want that. Can I build that? It says Norska. I mean, technically, I am a Norskan faction. I mean, theoretically. So I don't know if I can build it or not. But it's worth a punt. I think when we take a province, we get this swirling mist effect. Which is quite nice. It does give us vanguard deployment, reduction enemy leadership, all that. Wait, what's this? What is this? Unnatural fog. Slave built. Growth, construction reduction. Hmm. Hmm. Is this basically what we get anyway? Isn't that right? Okay, let's build the Blessed Swamp. Public order is not great. Rebellion in six turns, but in three turns we'll have this, which will increase control by ten, which will then fix my problem. There we go. Problem resolved. You, on the other hand, are a big problem, although you are taking attrition. But I think I need to deal with you sooner rather than later, because I don't want you on my flank while Mazda Mundi's doing this shit. You are all recruiting. That is not ideal. So, let's kill you first. It's a massive tentacle tush. We do have the garrison as well. That's good, because I can use the garrison as like a speed bump to keep those ogres. So, Pyrrhic victory, really. I mean, I know it's a lot of ogre balls, but they're not that good. They recruited a lot of ogres very, very quickly. Like, ludicrously quickly. Never mind. We've got more stick boys. Wow, a volley of sticks. Reducing that ogre ball unit to about almost half strength in one volley. That's impressive. That's very good. Uh, slightly more tricky over this flank. As our ogre balls... I mean, to be honest, we have ogre balls. They have ogre balls. I don't really care what happens to these ogre balls because they're mercenaries. So, who gives a shit? However... Now, Shell's not doing particularly well against the Ogre Balls. Yeah, they've not managed to take down one, and they've taken a lot of damage in return. I'm hoping we should be able to hold that. The centre, meanwhile, with our Stick Boys, are doing very, very well. Because, of course, you know, we, we throw sharp sticks at someone big. A lot of sticks stick in them. Like this one over here. Look at this. This is a, a Targog Whale Beater. He loves beating whales. Don't you know they're endangered, mate? Let's see how you like it. See how you like being harpooned, you big shit. Go on, fuck off. That's a lot of that's a lot of harpoons. Don't think he's going to don't think he's going to survive that somehow. Oh, he might get out of range. Not very good shots. One right off the back of the heads. Oh, oh, no, he's down. 
He's down with a general dead. That should make the rest of them a little bit easier to break. But with that said, they're still fighting for the moment. Though that leadership is looking pretty low. Our reinforcements are yet... I was, I was going to wait for them, but they didn't turn up for ages. They have now turned up. Here they come. Reinforcements coming in. We've got the some more shells. Shell scouts. We've got some of these uh, these more hounds being led by a Finn, Finn Moore. Some Boglars. There are our, our doggos. Our mossy doggos. They are... Okay. A basic... Basic... Basic doggos, by the looks of it. Pretty much basic doggos, which is fine, you know. Basic doggos. Who doesn't love a basic doggo? Base. Meanwhile, we're hunting down as many of these ogre bulls as possible. It looks like they're about to retreat. The Saber Tusk pack returning to the fight, but straight into the waiting arms or sticks of our sick boys, who then chuck a bunch of sticks at them. And it turns out that Saber Tusk's not super happy about being filled with pointy sticks. Mind you, very few things are happy about being filled with pointy sticks for the most part, in general. I will take the slaves, thank you very much. Not anymore, you're not. Now we've got our Tentacle Queen. She's large, she's in charge, she has many arms. You know what, we did not kill as many of you as I thought we had. Still, uh, should be fine. He says. Uh, yeah, that was alright. Oh, the Book of Arkham. That is pretty good. Right, we can't reach you in one turn. Um, we get the bonus for the campaign. I'm a little bit concerned you may declare war on me. But we need to take out Chungus. Chungus must die. I can't really, I, I, being able to pick off enemy enemy commanders is incredibly useful. If I... Right, we can camp. Can, like meander down here we can bop you and then we can meander back that is the plan right chungus time to die just bop you we'll just bop you and i guess i'll take this oh we've reached the max amount of slays in that case you know what i'm gonna take the experience We'll meander back this way. Okay. Oh, a fractured clasp. Less melee attack and discourage. These are all very, very useful little items we're having here. I'm going to give uh, Vicious the Book of Arkham. Now, currently Skeggy Lycus. I'm wondering if are you at war? Oh, you are at war with Hawattle. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if we can use that against against them. We're going to get Mother of a Thousand Young. Because that seems like it's going to be very useful. And we're going to get Evasion for you. Because that then leads on to the Kraken's Pull, which is nice. And Curse of Babu, which is fine. And more importantly, Arcane Contra. Which is very useful. Okay, you're okay at the moment. Monument of the Moon... Uh, we could get some pots. I do like pots. Defensive supplies plus 200 faction wide. Huh. Interesting. Probably not that useful, though. Uh, we could get... Like, 6% income from all buildings. Doesn't sound amazing, but then... I guess if you've got the entire pro... I guess you've got the entire province... It's not as good as just taking more money, though, is it? Probably. Probably. Let's just take extra cash. Let's just fill up. Fill up our stack with gobos. Okay. 
No, Skeggy, I'm not. I'm, go I'm going to have to kill you. Because I want your stuff. Sorry. Unhappy populace? Ah. Oh. God, gods. Haven't we had enough? Haven't we already had enough? Look, five turns rebellion. It's fine. We're going to get the, um, the blessed swamps. Everyone loves a good swamp. We get very excited about it. Um, right, what we want to do is we want to recruit a new... Ooh, watch what we've got a, a Dryak Elder or a Fremark Noble. So these... What have we got? A Broldahakt Wrestler. A form of wrestling popular with all castes where two familiar will try to push one another outside of a sacred circle. Okay. A clan storyteller. Maybe. Uh, what do we get? Campu, camp, a a Fidchell player. Follower of Lissart. A follower of Kroll. Oh, that could actually be quite useful. Cunning. A follower of Baylor. A follower of Baylor sounds pretty good. But, you know, Amber Spear. Trabaz. Tarbaz. Tarbaz, you're up. You're up, mate. Get some goblins, because guess what? You're going to be used as baits. I mean, physical resistance sounds quite good. Physical resistance sounds quite good. A little bit of extra control. More growth. There we go. We've got the research. We're going to go for more growth now. I wonder if we can get students. Everyone can get students. Lazy, lazy students. Staying in bed. And God, I tell you what. I remember my student days. It was so good. It was so good. I, I, used, to, I used to be in bed. I'd listen to my flatmate get up and go to work. That was about, what, 8 o'clock. And you know what I'd do? I'd roll over and go back to sleep for at least another two hours. Oh, it was amazing. And then I'd get up and I'd make myself a cup of tea and I'd sit down and I'd play World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade for fucking ages. It was immense. Oh, heady days. Heady days. Okay. This could be a little bit dicey, but what we're going to do is we're going to march you over here. And then we're going to ambush over here. And we're going to declare war. In fact, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Skeggy. I'm going to go, hey, guys, would you like me to join your war against the Wattle? Uh, give me some money for it, you motherfucking sons of bitches. Yes. That's right, you little nerds. Give me money. I'm going to use that and I'm going to kill the Wattle. And then I'm going to kill you. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next tentacle-filled episode.